Yo, what's going on, boy? Good here, and today I'm bringing us another Warriors on Three video. And today we're gonna take a look at the new top five best loadouts after the season six update. This update has brought in a lot of interesting changes. Um, the SCG ended up getting nerfed. The secondaries kind of stayed the same, but there was buffs in certain weapons that could challenge the current meta of the static. A lot of a lot of interesting things, and also the introduction of two new weapons that could spice up the primary conversation. But before we get into all that, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if this video was helpful in any way, please hit that like button. And without further ado, let's get into it. And for our first weapon, we have the BP-50. Now, I know this may be a reach for some of you guys, but I am I feel like this weapon will be making some noise this season. This gun already is pretty solid. The one thing that it lacks, it got buffed in, in today's update, which is like the farther ranges, the, the mid to far range got uh, buffed a little bit today and i think that's the one thing that it kind of lacks because um, it already has pretty much everything else it has no recoil too so if you add in a little bit more damage for those ranges this gun will be producing a little bit more now um, and with the scg getting nerfed now i'm a little bit skeptical on that nerf because there was no headshot multiplier nerf there was everything around it and the headshot multiplier is kind of what the biggest issue is with that gun so i'm not gonna count out the scg just yet just because i know like it could still be good without that nerf but there's so many other things now that are getting buffed that maybe that's just not enough to to still be the best and i think the bp50 with everything that it can do especially like i said in the resurgence mode this gun is going to be it and it also got buffed in the conversion kit mode so for the secondary purposes uh this gun could be a little bit more of a viable option i know that had some problems sometimes with a little bit of damage issues at certain ranges but really close it's good so hey can't wait to see how this gun kind of shapes out. Hopefully, it gets a little bit more opportunity with this buff because I personally enjoy using this gun, and I think it could be really solid. But with that being said, let's move on to the next gun. And for our next weapon, we have the Static HV, which is a weapon some people may be disappointed to see on this list, but you know, unfortunately, that's just how it is. They didn't really do anything to the SMGs uh, in this patch. In particular, this weapon, a gun that reclaimed its top spot at the end of Season 5, if you guys remember when Season 5 Reloaded dropped, the Striker kind of took over very briefly. People were like, alright, this is the best SMG now. The Static is out of here. But the Static lingered around over time. It took over in the last couple weeks. And then it became, or reclaimed the spot. And right now, I would argue this is favored by the majority of people. And probably considered the best SMG right now. Now, me personally, I've been a Super U guy for the last couple weeks. So, I've been using the Super U this entire time. And that's the gun that I'm enjoying. But I've used this weapon recently, and this gun still hits. So I can see why people went back to it. But I thought the striker was was good. Like the striker felt good, and I thought that it, it, it was going to stick. And unfortunately, it did not stick. And so here we are talking about it still being a top gun. And again, the lackluster changes that they did to the class for the SMGs in this update didn't really help the situation. I thought for sure it was going to receive another tweak. It didn't. And here we are. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they nerfed it two weeks from now, like how they normally do when they fail to nerf it the first time. Uh, but I'll we'll have to wait and see. But again, this gun is still good, and I'd expect it to probably be the best option for SMG moving into the new season. But with that being said, let's get into the next gun. And for our next weapon, we have the MTZ, which kind of finds itself in a sh interesting situation because I do think this gun could be meta. It has the tools to be meta, and the buff that it got today really does help its case it got a headshot multiplier buff which is kind of rare to see sometimes because if you don't tweak that correctly you can make a weapon that's really broken the scg for example um this gun i'm not saying that the headshot multiplier because now it's 1.3 instead of 1.25 so it's not too crazy and i don't even think it's equivalent or even close to the scg one but just having that slight damage to headshots for a weapon like this already it's going to be very 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 cool to see how this gun will be implemented into the meta now honestly i do expect the new weapons to come in and kind of become the primaries for the season but if by some chance they flop off launch i'm expecting to see a pivot to weapons like the mtc because if the scg is feeling a little bit weak and the new guns aren't necessarily hitting and people neglect the lmgs that's going to land on a gun like the MTZ to potentially become the next meta. Now, there is a lot of factors that have to play into it, but those factors aren't really reaches because we've seen it time and time again with things like that happen anyway. So, I'm not necessarily too concerned about those not lining up. Um, I hope that the MTZ does get some love because I feel like it's been neglected as well this entire time. Like This is a weapon that I think could be accepted very well by the community if given a chance, but we just have to wait and see. 
But with that being said, let's move on to the next weapon. And surprise, for our next weapon, we have the Striker. Now, I was kind of debating on what to put for the next SMG because I do want to say that maybe some of the SMGs that got buffed today could see themselves in like the top three conversation and potentially be competing with the static. But I mean, I, I just find it hard for me to really argue against what's already been the meta leading up to this update and the fact that they both didn't get changed. The so striker and static both stayed the same. And I just find it really hard to necessarily take them off the list because the buffs that happened to the other SMGs in the patch notes didn't really move me. I felt like if I put them on this list, it'd be a stretch to say that they could even take the striker spot, let alone take the static spot. And so that's why I'm keeping the striker in this top five. This gun, I would say, is still going to battle with the static to be the number one. It's just going to, we're just going to be sharing a dual uh, meta, maybe even trio meta, because the super, like I said, I think the super is really good. And that's been my, my SMG since like the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to be running the super still. People are going to be running the striker static. I think that that's going to still be the top three moving into season six, unless the AMR9 buff was significant enough to make it more competitive with these weapons but until i see that i'm gonna keep the striker in here um, the smg meta didn't really change the only thing that i can see changing the secondary meta will be the weapon that i'm going to be putting in next but it's not a smg so just stick tuned for that but actually let's just get into it and for our last weapon we have the mcw now before we get in depth onto why i picked this weapon and the convergent kit i just want to say quick things uh, that I could have put an LMG in this top five rather than the MCW, but to be honest, I do think that if an LMG is going to be meta moving into this new season, I think it's going to be the new one that's coming in. But if by some chance the new ones don't uh, necessarily take over the primary metas, I don't think people are going to just pivot to the LMGs and we're going to be seeing a new meta from the AR category if it's not the SCG still, because again, the headshot multiplier didn't get nerfed and we don't know how much damage nerf that it received we have to actually see it and use it um but with that being said i picked the mcw as the last weapon also because this is like the 10th buff that it's got what's an update day without this gun getting above because they received uh, another one but i don't think this gun's going to come into the meta as a primary i said this in the last one because i think the writing's on the wall every time this gun gets buffed the conversion kit just keeps winning and the conversion kit it was already absolutely amazing Every time this gun gets buffed, like I said, man, it's just going to keep winning. And if this gun doesn't become primary metal, worst case scenario, it's a secondary. And I think now is the time to explore this weapon as a secondary meta. I think it could definitely be better than static. And it could serve a similar role to the XM4. People already draw comparisons to the XM4. So this gun would definitely fit right in. And I'd be curious to see if people are going to finally experiment with this gun as a secondary. I think it's about that time. If the primary version doesn't work out, which I don't think it will because they just cannot commit to just completely buffing it. We're at the end of the game and they can't commit to just overhauling the weapon and just putting it straight into the meta. I don't know why they refuse to do it because uh, clearly we know what they want the MCW to be and they don't do it. But anyways, like I said, the conversion kit, hey man, keep your eye out on this one. This is going to be my most anticipated weapon to use yet again because I just know this gun's going to go crazy. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Hopefully these loadouts help you in getting some dubs. And with that being said, man, we're getting W's. I'm out. Peace.